Well, you find me and my traveling companions in the Addo Elephant National Park. And I took a little um, took a little break, went down to see the other half and the family. And these guys still by the coast. Tell us about that, Len. The coast was a fantastic place. Mm -hmm. A good friend of ours, Sarah, offered us her little sea shanty shack. And uh, we got to snorkel, go to rock pools. Mm. We got to you see otter tracks. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little close, eh? <laughs> no. Found an octopus. You found a shark today. Yeah, I found a brown shy shark, a new species for me. We don't get them in the Cape so often. So yeah, that, that was that, that was, was cool. really really that cool. That was cool. We got to do a little forest birding in Dune Forest, I believe it's yeah, called. Yeah, yeah, Got a taraco, nice little taraco. Yeah. That was incredible. Yeah. What a crazy find. Our first grass birds as well. Mm. Yeah, we had a we had a great time. It was sad. It was sad to say goodbye, but oh. saying hello to Addo feels. Is a little better. It's brilliant, and we've set up quite the quite the campsite here. It's like a tent city, and um, there's there's forest that next to the Hilux. Sarah's borrowing the uh, borrowing the Hilux from her family, and um, we're gonna crack o crack open a cold one, and I think hit for a little drive That sounds nice. Sounds good. I think that's the plan. I think it's a good plan too. Yeah. Anyway, let's execute that plan. Ciao.
Yeah, forget about me. What about the hyena? <laughs> Was lion and what the nearly extinct from the park? Yeah. Mm. I apologize for the audio. What, what is this? This is so weird. <laughs> Elephants drink a lot of water, and in a park such as Addo, where you have such a high density of elephants, there's always going to be activity around a water source. One such water source that we spent a lot of time at was the Addo Main Camp waterhole. This is a unique one because there's a hide looking over the waterhole, and the water gets pumped up to around about eye level, giving unique photographic and videographic opportunities. We were there day and night watching their comings and goings. With only so much space available, it isn't always a tranquil affair. Yeah, <laughs> trying to take a selfie. <laughs> In this angle, right? It's coming out. It's a bowl of soup type of day here at Addo <laughs> National Park. As you can see, it's 
raining pretty hectically. A lot of the animals are hiding out under bushes, trees, and whatnot to keep dry. To their best attempts, a lot of them are still getting soaked. We're gonna head to the forest region of Addo National Park, hope to do some forest birding. I think our chances will be better there. Maybe some Turacos, crowned eagles. We're looking Rogans. for white-starred robins, trogons. So are you excited? I'm so excited. And Mateo? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mmm. Very excited. Ranger Day. Yeah, no, look, I mean, this weather isn't really playing ball with us, but we're gonna, we're gonna try our luck elsewhere. We did spy some spotted hyena this morning again, which is beautiful. But, um, yeah, we're working against the elements here, so we have to do what we can. But uh, we shall see you there. Needless to say, the weather did not, in fact, cooperate. And there we are. We're in the forest now. And the weather is miserable. But the birds are calling. Getting quite a bit of rainforest vibes here. And it's very oh, exciting. Oh, here we go. Oriole. Black-headed Oriole. Oh. Black-headed Oriole. Yes. There's one closer. There's one. Black-headed oh. Oriole. Look at the color. Lane, that's a lifer. That's a lifer. Oh. I've never seen a yellow Oriole in my life. Baltimore and Orchard. Orange ones in the States. But yeah. This is brand new. This is Oreos. exciting. What a call. That bubbly. This is what forest burning's about. Yeah, no, the weather was never going to stop us. It never stood a chance. So let's see what else we see. Obviously, didn't bring my big camera because the weather is just not conducive. But uh, that's a good start. Having seen pretty much only the black headed Oriole, it was around about halfway through our hike with soggy feet and weather warnings pouring in that we realized we do, in fact, have a problem. This is a public cry for help. Hi, my name is Sai, I have a birding problem. Hi, my name is Matteo and I have a birding problem. Hi, my name is Ethan and I have a crippling birding problem. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lane, I have a birding problem. 